Where did I go last week, Milwaukee? I went outside early, and I went for a walk. I went to CVS. I had to buy fucking toothpaste, a bunch of shit. And I went back, and I said, let me get some coffee. It was like 10 o'clock. I had already had breakfast maybe at 7. Dog, I went downstairs and smoked a tremendous joint. A tremendous joint. Tremendous. One Not those, a regular one. One of those joints where you get really baked outside. Yeah. The sun's on your face. You're like really enjoying yeah. it. And I hear this commotion on top of me. And I look up. And I counted 12 stories up to a window cleaners. Those dudes that get on the fucking harness oh, belts. Oh, fuck that. And I sat there for a while. One of my best friends did that shit. Making $8 world. an hour. No. No. My buddy left a fucking great lucrative job to go back to New York to do that. He was a union. He worked for the company that did the, that did the, the fucking tower that they blew up. Oh, Tower, uh, the, the World Trade Towers? Center. Yeah, yeah. Him and his brother worked at the World, then he got promoted. Washing those windows? Washing those windows. Yeah. They had contracts all around the city. You're steady making all bank. fucking year. Yeah, you're making bank. You're making union wages. Doing work. But yeah. have you seen in the wind that sometimes they can, like, crash against the thing? Again, no, that's thank no, you. listen, Uncle Joey don't do those type of jobs. <laughs> Bro, you, you've been to the comedy, uh, comedy works in Denver downtown? Yeah. Right next there off Lermer Square, someone sent me this fucking video. Some dude climbs up to the the top there. Nope, it, it's not that tall. It's you know you know the comedy store like base base thing top of the comedy store downtown. Some dude climbs up the top there at Flemish Square, and it's it's fucking it's lunch hour on a Tuesday, and some dude just sitting up there saying he's gonna commit suicide. So of course everyone in their suit and dress from their nine to five gets their phone out, film it because they didn't think he's gonna do it. Homeboy does it. He jumped yeah. face first. How bad? Stuck. Game over. Head bl blows up. You game over. You die before you hit the floor. Everyone goes, ah! It's just, I mean. I can't watch over. those videos. Me neither. I, didn't, I was like, oh, what's homeboy going to do? He's gonna, he has a squirrel suit on. He's going to bungee jump. Lerma Square. This is dope. Some college kid? No. Some dude just didn't want to be there anymore. When, when I first moved to Boulder, fresh-eyed, bushy tail, 22 years old, pocket full of cash, scams out the ass. I moved to <laughs> 10, 12, 14th Street. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I had a, a four-bedroom apartment with three other students. One Japanese kid didn't fucking speak English, and they cut him off because he had a white girlfriend. <laughs> so I paid him 20 a day to cook Japanese food for me. Every night, he'd go to Alfalfa's and buy me the nice meat, and we'd make Szechuan beef and shit. <laughs> <laughs> then there was a Mexican kid who got Smith and Smitty with me one night, and I robbed him, <laughs> and he kept begging me for the money. Like, I knew it was you. He kept saying, I knew it was you. I worked hard under the sun for that money. The cops came when they blamed it on me because they smelled marijuana. God damn. Shit. He ratted me out. So I gave him like two weeks. And I saw where he hit his money. And I clicked <laughs> like 300. <laughs> Fuck him. And there was a Bro. white dude that played the air guitar. What happened? You have one of the best memories of anyone I know. Oh, my God. This it's is great. You have no brain trauma. No. You have zero. All the drugs, everything. You have zero brain trauma. 19. I had a fucking. You have one of the best memories I know. I got an email from a friend of mine that beat me up. Oh, my God. Saying, I don't remember this whole story. Why are people asking me about it? I told the story on the podcast and I got back to him. I'm like, how don't you remember this shit? Have but, you always had a good memory? Yeah. Because it's a, I, a lot of, like, I can remember big moments and, like, traumatic moments or negative things. But I don't, like, to some, again, like, your boy who's like, dude, I don't remember that shit. People tell me, like, you remember this and this? I'm like, not really, man. A lot of it I don't. When I go home, I hear stories. And sometimes I go, man, I kind of remember it, but I don't remember it. But this shit, I remember like it was yesterday. The conversation, how it went down. You've always had a good memory? Since I was a little kid, I could go away, go back to the same place the next year and ask for people. And my mom would look at me, how the fuck do you remember this shit? You can't see using your brain, though, doing stand-up. Like, most comics I know are super sharp, too. I was good with numbers when I was a child. I was, you know, like, we had a numbers bank. Okay, so... There was a rule at the house. So Renee would call every day at 3 o'clock. If, if my mom was busy throughout the day, Renee would call at 3 o'clock, and whoever answered the phone had to give him my mother's numbers for the day. So it was like three combination numbers, like 325, 218. Sure, running numbers. 219. It was just like five or six numbers. Mm. But my mom could ask me a week later, what did I play two, two, two Tuesdays ago? And I could tell her. 
Damn, you're like Rain Man. And about she the, would go, that's fucking crazy. That is and crazy. The weed didn't do anything, because I, I, I don't think it was that good, but I had a pretty decent memory, and now I feel like most of it, it's not gone, but it's not to where it was. You think the weed made you a little cloudy? Uh, yeah, well, maybe a little bit, but then I also, like, I was trying to think of my fourth grade teacher's name the other day, and it took me like 10 minutes to think of it. Just like weird stuff Sister like that. Sister Hannah. Mr. Bell, I figured I figured it out, but Miss it took Miss Famularo, while. son. See, yeah. But I don't know. It doesn't make you cloudy at all. Sometimes it does with me. Yeah, it probably took some of the years away, or right. certain cloudy things. Like, uh, like there's certain things where my memory is really good because I collect like football cards when I was a kid, and for the most part, even today, even the pros in the NFL, I still don't follow as closely. I can tell you what college they went to, position, certain like stats, like even old school things. Just what college were they from? Very strange, man. We have, I also have. What do people say when they try to be cute? They go, "You have uh, photogenic, photographic, yeah, photographic memory." A photo, no, 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 Photo, no. photogenic, isn't it? Fo- is it photographic? Photogenic no, is like you your have face. A weird way, well, you have a weird way of retaining worthless information. Hmm. Like somebody told me that one. Time, it might be worthless to you, but motherfucker, I make yeah. a living off this worthless yeah, information. This is, it's fucking yeah. crazy. Yeah.